We're going to be studying 1 Corinthians over the next few months, and we study ancient texts for this reason. We have a hold of a cord of truth that goes far, far back. This morning, we are not talking about what is relevant today. We're not talking about what is new this week. We're not talking about what is trending currently. We're talking about what has been true for thousands of years. We're talking about ancient truth. And the cord that we hold on to this morning, it weaves down through the centuries back thousands of years to the time of Christ when Jesus was crucified, resurrected, and His church started. And that cord of truth that we hold on to that winds all the way back to that, it weaves through large cathedrals and large churches, but it also weaves through grass huts in small villages. It, it goes over the desks of seminary students in large cities preparing for ministry, but also across the legs of people sitting cross leg Indian style, around a fire, studying the Scripture. And God's Word, His truth, it's not something new. It's something ancient. It's something meaningful and powerful. And so today, what, what I share with you is not something that I cooked up this week. What I share with you is not something that I think is fitting for our time. What I share with you this morning, I believe, I know to be fitting in all time. That it was true when Paul wrote it to the Corinthians in A.D. 50, and it is true in 2016. And so we look at God's Word this morning, and specifically 1 Corinthians, because we believe that this text, written 2,000 years ago, that it has bearing on where we are at today. And I think that as we make our way through this letter, you will see that Paul may have written this to the city of Corinth in A.D. 50, but he could have written it to Chandler in 2015. It could have been right here, right now for us. It applies today. And so with that...